This is a new issue for some of us. We feel guilty, but no problem. There are some of us that are in a very similar boat, yeah? We can start whenever, and this can be the opportunity for us to start. But there are a few questions in my mind, yeah? I did come here mostly to learn from the speakers. And to be honest, seeing the speakers from such diverse backgrounds, Wallahi makes me so happy, yeah? Whether it's social media brothers, whether it's lawyers, whether it's mashallah shuyu from uh, different walks of life and you know other brothers and sisters mashallah no no not known it's amazing how we are coming together for such an important cause but one of my questions is this for the people that stand up for human rights where are you now where are the people where are the people that bang on about human rights when it comes to muslims where are you now yeah where the LBC, one hour long discussions and the people calling in. Where's the BBC question time now? They give us an hour question time, let's discuss this. Yeah, let's discuss these issues. Why are you silent now? That's my question. These are my observations. Yeah, and another thing, when I was over here, honestly, I didn't plan to speak. Yeah, and one brother, as I, you know, uh, knocked off work about half an hour before, one brother said, brother, but this is going on in Syria, that's going on over there. And I think this is another important point to bear in mind. There are issues going on everywhere. And we should be speaking out against all of these atrocities. Yeah? Give everything that you write. Don't just stick with one thing. Yeah? Try to contribute to all of them. Yeah? I think that's very important. And the power of social media, guys, is remarkable. It's amazing. One example that comes to my mind as I was standing on the side is that of Mesut Ozil. Yeah, you guys know him, he used to play for Arsenal. And when he spoke out against Uyghurs, Arsenal didn't back him. Yeah? Pro-evolution soccer removed him. And you know what? We should remove pro-evolution soccer from our shelves as well. Let's, let's face it, FIFA's better. Pro-evolution's crap. Let's, let's be realistic, yeah? And that's me using polite terms. Yeah? And even these commentaries that were taking place, they weren't mentioning Ozil's name. No problem. No problem. Yeah? What if more people start standing up? What are you going to do? Ignore everyone. You can't ignore everyone. The voice is getting louder. The voice is getting louder. And you know what? This is, this is something that sometimes I, I hear these things about you know, children being taken out and you know, things that I can't even repeat on the stage. Honestly, it, it's mind boggling. How is this allowed to take place in the 21st century? It blows my mind. I honestly can't process it. Yeah? And, you know, subhanAllah, I'm thinking, is there any point coming and standing here? But the reality is, there is a point. Why? Because the results are in the hands of Allah. The results are not in our control. The means, that's in our control. Each footstep that you've taken over here, it will bear testimony for you. Each takbir that you do, will be on your book of deeds on the day. You know what, let me get, get a share of this as well. Takbir! And you know what, you're 100% right. Allah is the greatest. And there have been things more worse than this that have happened in the past. And we have survived. And we will continue to survive. Takbir! Allah. Jazakallah.